And hello again, and today we're having a look at this uh, new um, AI system um, from NVIDIA. Uh, it's a demo version called Chat with RTX. And what we're going to do is point it towards the um, FL Studio documentation. And what's nice about the way they've done it is, um, I say the FL Studio documentation, um, we're interested in the API reference. And that's all on one page, which is quite significant because what it means is I've been able to save all this page, um, of which there's quite a lot of stuff, to a single PDF, and then point um, point uh, chat to RTX at it. Um, which looks like this. So you can see that's where the directory where I have my PDF files, and there's only one in this instance, which is this one. Um, but you can have multiple PDF files, and it treats them all as its data source. Um, and you can ask it queries like, you know, how many data sources do you have? What are they called? All that kind of thing as well. Um, but that's by the by. Um, so well, the way I've done this is uh, I've thought about what I would use it for. Um, it's probably the same as any um, Python programmer when you're coding for FL Studio. I certainly find I have to go to that um, API li library or one similar to it um, to get the information I need just so that I can carry on. And the kind of questions I might be asking, depending on what I'm doing, um, are things like this. How do I move the playlist on pointer to the next mark? Now, why would I want to do that? Well, obviously, that's a separate issue, but it may be that um, I've got a particular knob and it wants to go next, next, previous, previous, across the um, song pointers or something like that. How do I do it? Um, well, I'm going to ask chat with RTX and it's going to give me the answer. Now, I've seen other people say that it doesn't always give completely truthful answers. So um, bear that in mind. But uh, having said that, I found it pretty, pretty good. I've got about half a dozen or so questions, which are just things which I made up um, for this demo. But they're the kind of things I might ask if uh, I'm, I'm coding something um, in FL Studio, probably for a control service in my case. How can I get a list of the current marker names? Obviously that follows on from the next one, and that's how you might do it. And you can actually, um, with this little button here, copy all that text and then paste it straight into, into your uh, code, uh, which is also quite nice. Um, so let me just control C, control V. What have I got now? Let's send it before I start blabbering. How do I get the plugin name for the currently focused plugin window? These are probably all things that I have done and I've, I've gone to the API documentation for to work out uh, how I do it. Um, how do I get a list of the parameters of the currently selected plugin? That's the next one. Let's paste that one in. So I'm not showing you this to give you this information. I, I'm showing you this really to show the kind of thing that you can do um, with chat with RTX or with any other local um, based AI system. Now, chat with RTX uh, is, is very easy to set up. It does take a lot of space, uh, but you don't need a lot of information about AI and how it works in order to set it up. It does it all for you, and this is what you end up with. Um, how do I get a list of the parameters of the currently selected plugin? Useful stuff, eh? Well, useful depending on what you're doing. Let's see what I've got next. I've only got a few more of these, so it's possibly getting a bit boring, I don't know. But what I have found is it's very good at doing this kind of thing, um, which I personally would find very useful. And if you're a developer for FL Studio, um, you may find it useful as well. Um, what I would probably do, and what I didn't want to do for this demo, is I would also probably put in that directory, this directory here, um, perhaps a PDF from a book about Python programming. And then if there's something about Python I'm not sure about, I can ask that question as well, and it will give me an answer. But for simplicity, I've just purely um, copied the text I showed you earlier on, which is up here, all this, everything here, into a PDF file. And then I've pointed um, uh, chat with RTX at it. So what have I got now? I'm going to carry on. I'm going to persevere. I think I started um, not going rogue. I started going off piste a bit towards the end, but only stuff that's st still relevant, perhaps, because I wanted to challenge it a little bit to say, 
well, do you know about this? What do you know about this? Um, how do I get a list of the currently muted tracks? Hmm, interesting. How do I know what hex value is being triggered? Let me just paste this one in. How do I know what hex value is being triggered uh, when I press a button on my control surface? Useful thing to know. Now it's it's very it's relatively straightforward to set up a program um, that will, whenever you press a button on your control surface, it'll tell you what the hex value is. Um, but I'm not trying to teach you things like that. I'm really just trying to show you what this can do. Um, that followed on to what is the base value of hex. Um, now I think I, I know hex is related to Latin for eight, I think. Um, and I think it's base 16. I'm not sure about that. Maybe hex is related to <laughs> Latin for 16. I don't know. Not eight. Oct is eight, isn't it? So yeah, it's more like 16. Um, the base value of hex is 16. Now I think when I first did this, it gave me a bit more information, which is quite interesting. Um, but what I did after that was asked it another related question about hex. What are the values that make up hex integers? Now it's base 16, so in decimal we've only got 0 to 9. So we need another um, six characters. What are they? Well, it's going to tell us. So they're made up of digits from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F. So there's 16 altogether because you've got 10 there and you've got A to F another 6. So um, not something you'd be looking up as you went along, but useful information. It's all in there and you just have to ask the question and uh, Bob's your uncle. So I was quite impressed by this. Um, you can probably do most of it with ChatGPT, but maybe not as much of the API stuff. It's probably in there. I haven't really checked. This is very specific. You're not going to get spurious stuff um, from all over the web. Um, and that's really what I wanted. I wanted the definitive answers, not what Joe Bloggs might have posted when he was scripting something five years ago in FL Studio, and it's not really that relevant anymore. The API has changed. This is the bang up to date API, um, as I showed you earlier on. Anyway, I'm starting to blather. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, if enough people ask me some programming questions that they want to see chat with RTX answer, I'll do another follow-up video. Um, bear in mind, the kind of questions I've asked here are the kind of level of questions. What you can't do is um, say to it, can you code me a, uh, an application for my control surface? Um, because that's not in the uh, FL Studio API. There are some examples in there. You've seen some of those come up, um, but that's sort of not what this is about. This is more about helping you to do things rather than having AI do it for you. Anyway, yes, I'm blabbing. So um, thanks very much for your time. Hope you got something out of it. Bye-bye.